I bought this bike because it was one of the cheapest bikes with every feature I was looking for. The individual parts may not be the best out there, but I felt like I got every single dollar out of this purchase. The bike also felt wonderful compared to my previous $150 steel folding bike. Weight, pedaling, and overall comfort was great. It's been about two months of use and it's still running strong. Here is a list of anything that has gone wrong or maintenance that I had to do. Cleaned and lube chain. Not sure what they used, but it benefited from a thorough cleaning and lubrication after only a couple weeks of riding. Rear hub popped out of frame when the rear of the bike hit the curb when being walked. It just needed to be tightened, but glad I wasn't on it at the time as the chain immediately bound. Rear brake had air in line. Ended up cracking the fill screw housing due to low quality aluminum and too much torque. My fault, but worth noting that the aluminum here isn't the best. Recommend MT201 replacements, as these were clones. Low sided the bike on the non-drive side during a turn on the pavement, going about 15 miles per hour. Took it like a champ with no issues after, outside of a squished pedal. As you can see there really wasn't much, and most of it is my fault anyhow. For reference to my riding over the two months, I am 5 feet 8 inches and about 140 pounds. I use it mainly on flat roads, but the bike handles poor sidewalks, small jumps off park paths, gravel forest trail, and curb jumps quite well. Overall I'd recommend this to someone who wants an aluminum bike with hydraulic brakes and who intends to use it for trail riding. I have not done serious downhill or mountain biking, but I would personally upgrade the fork before doing so.